Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Pastor Jose and Patricia. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Yeah. So, praise God. Big Ben area is a great place to visit. Yes. Also, uh, New Beginnings Church is a good place to visit. Uh -huh. A church you can call home where we yeah. honor God, love family, serve others, and pursue excellence. Amen. Yes. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. And we want to welcome all our NBC family, visitors, and all those of you joining us by audio and video. Amen. Amen. So, all we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. We got some awesome food over there waiting for us for <laughs> fellowship. And some of us are drooling already. And we're ready for it. But we should be the same hungry and thirst for that word of God. Amen. Word of God for us. Amen. So, pray for me that I may deliver what God has given me. Amen. Allow the word of God to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you. Amen. We're going to be talking about something that some of us have never heard before. Some of us never want to participate in. Come on now. But it's called the weapon, the weapon of praise. Some of us don't want to praise because I don't have a voice. Uh, some of us don't want to sing because... Um, uh, it's not my, my, that part of service is not for me, you know, and so we exclude ourselves, but God created us to praise Him, including you, yes. so whether you have a voice or not, some of us are gifted to sing, some of us are not, but still you have a voice, and you can speak it, you can read it, amen, uh, the book of Psalms is also called uh, Song of Praise, Songs of Praise, amen, so that's several names for it but still before we get all excited about doing all this grab your swords and let's let's make this declaration together amen, amen. praise god amen. this is my bible i am what it says i am i have what it says i have i can do what it says i can do today i'll be taught the word of god i boldly confess my mind is over my spirit is receptive and i'll never do the same in jesus name my mind is a lot on a daily basis. Why? Because yes. the battlefield is the mind. Yeah. And you get all kinds of thoughts. And they're not all good thoughts. Right. <laughs> Somebody cuts you off. Uh, you're not going to have good thoughts. <laughs> but you have to renew your mind to the Word of God. Yeah. There's a lot of things happening out there. It's a negative world. Yeah. A, a lost world. And if you don't renew your mind, uh -huh. you're going to be thinking thoughts that you shouldn't. As long as you don't Put them to action as long as you don't give it voice. Yeah. You can just delete it. Say, no, I'm not having that. I'm going to delete it. Delete, 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 delete. Yeah. Okay, some of us need to put a guard on our mouth because we shoot it too quick. <laughs> and we got to be careful. Amen. Not to do that because we're sowing uh, seed. And we don't want no negative seeds. Amen. <clears throat> Before we get going in the Word, I've got a few nuggets for you. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Okay. One of them is this, don't face each day or the enemy until you have faced God first. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> I guarantee you David what? Prepared and spent time with God before he went out against Goliath. And there's giants waiting for you each and every day. All the time. But you know, spend time with him before you face the world. Before you face these giants. Amen. With him, you can do all things. With him, back in you you can do all these things yeah. without him you lose remember this it's a spiritual battle yeah you physically you're trying to deal with it physically and you're no match to a, a, a spiritual world you have to use the word of god amen so whew, let's mature and let's grow from this okay yes. that's that's just one of them it says don't face each day or the enemy until you have faced god in prayer prayer is powerful and we have a handout we haven't introduced it yet to our uh, our audience here, our our, uh, our, our uh, viewing uh, church here, our viewing people. Amen. Another one is this. We have them back there. I don't know if you ever see them, but it says Jesus. A name of Jesus brings this. The name of Jesus brings this. It brings joy. Uh -huh. That's for the day. E, excitement. Uh -huh. It brings S is for satisfaction. U is for understanding. And another S is for salvation. Amen. That's Jesus. Jesus now. More than ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Man. A couple of good nuggets for you. And here's the last one. Okay. 
best one. Burn the bridges that leads you back to the old way of living. Because you know what the world is going to do. You know what friends are going to do. And so-called friends, they're going to try to back you back to the old stuff. Uh -huh. Amen. But you got to be strong enough to say, no, I burned those bridges. I can't go back. Yeah. There ain't no way I'm going back. And listen to this. Ephesians 5 and 1 in the King James says, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. Yes. And the Amplified it says, it goes like this. Ephesians 5 1. Therefore be imitators of God. Copy him and follow his examples. Amen. And well, I don't know what to do. Well, if you get in the word, it tells you what to do. Right. You be imitators of your heavenly father. Mm -hmm. Amen. Copy him and follow his examples as well, beloved children. Imitate their father. Yes. Amen. We got children, they're trying to be like their favorite uh, hero, their favorite uh, a sports hero, their yeah. favorite everything else, except we haven't taught our children the way they should come yes. at home. So they're yeah. looking for somebody to, 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 to lead them, for somebody to guide yes. them. Amen. But we need to guide them and teach them from home. Amen. That's yes. where they get their foundation. Amen. And 2 Corinthians 5 17, and the King James says this Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is what? A new creature, a new creation. <laughs> I didn't know it called me a creature. <laughs> Old things are passed away. Yes. Behold, all things all have things become have new. The uh, New Living Translation says it like this. We can understand the meaning. that This means that anyone, anyone that includes you, mm -hmm. who belongs to Christ has become a new person. Yes. People are still judging you and seeing you the old way. Oh, yeah. But I'm a new creature in Christ. Amen. I'm a new person in Christ. So don't act like the old person. Mm -hmm. That bridge is burnt. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm not going back to the old stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. The old life is gone. The new life has begun. Mm -hmm. I'm starting a new life with Christ. Amen. Somebody yeah. needed to hear this. Amen. Yeah. It's time to start a new life with yeah. Him. And you know what? I've told you this so many times. But I asked the Lord to help me uh, with my enemies. <laughs> Take these enemies from me, and guess what? I started losing friends. <laughs> yeah. I started losing friends, so-called friends. Yeah. But guess what? He brings new friends around there. He'll mm -hmm. bring new friends around. If some some of them yeah. are there for a short season, some are there for a mid-season, some yeah. are there for a lifetime, and they're there. You know, when you're being ugly, and they're still calling you and telling you things, encouraging you, you know, and, and helping you out and saying things, you you shouldn't do that. Amen. So come on. <laughs> you still love Pastor, huh? Yes. <laughs> okay, we won't keep you long. Amen. <laughs> so, be be ready. We're talking about the weapon of praise. There you go. We got to praise him. Some of us need to learn how to do this, you know. <laughs> Jesus went like this at the cross. We need to know how to go like this. Amen. Praise God. Ooh, the weapon of praise. We're created to uh, worship Him or praise Him. Uh, let's go to Isaiah 63 and 1. We just sang this song. Those of you that are listening, those of you that are, uh, are viewing, uh, we just uh, sang this song. And, and it goes like, uh, put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. We use the word of God. We use the Bible. So open it up. Remember the B-I-B-L-E? What? That's the book for me. This I hope is the book for you. But we got to open it up and get these words, read them, and get them in us. And then we start speaking them. Amen. That's 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 power right there. Praise God. Uh, no, I went a little too far. What's funny? What's so funny? <laughs> verse 3 says. Uh, yeah, verse 3. To so appoint unto them. The morning of Zion to give unto them the beauty for ashes and the oil of joy for the morning uh -huh. and the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness Heaven that they might be called trees of righteousness the planting of the Lord yes. that he might be glorified amen so put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness amen you know if you get some heaviness on you best thing for you to do is says the joy of the Lord is my strength yes. don't have me some joy Put a smile on his face. Amen. Worship him. Praise him. Amen. Woo. Come on now. Praise is a spiritual weapon. Yes, it is. Keep going, girl. Here we go. 
some of you got a handout some of you that are viewing and listening within the sound of my voice here but it says praise five of the most powerful weapons given to believers uh -huh. from who by god god has given us these powerful weapons this is just five okay yeah. and it says spiritual weapons the first one is this the word of god uh -huh. if you don't get the word of god in you it can't come out that's it but you got to get it in you yeah, so that yeah. you can come out it says out of your innermost being shall flow rivers or living, living water. water the word is alive amen he says i send it out and it comes back to me mm -hmm. amen i think that's one of the scriptures isaiah go to isaiah 55 and, and one and you'll see he says when i send my word it obeys me and it does what i tell it to do mm -hmm. so words have power there's death and life in the power of the word of the mm -hmm. tongue, amen? The, in, in the power of your words. The next one is what? Number two, is, well, they don't have to be in this order, but I just put them this way. It says praise and worship. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't know there was power in praise and worship. Yes. Hey, Amen, there was. Remember uh, Jericho? We'll be talking about Jericho. But when they shouted, you know what? When they praised him and shout, mm -hmm. them walls came down. Yes, yes. They say it's impossible for those things to be uh, come down mm -hmm. not with God yes, all yes. things are possible through him and he yes. can use you amen so yes. what's impossible for him is possible with me right amen so yes. praise God praise and worship him don't exclude this anymore don't uh, neglect it anymore praise him every time you get a chance uh -huh. oh man I'm so lucky you ain't lucky you're a child of God you're blessed <laughs> amen don't go around calling yourself lucky. If you're a child of God, you are blessed by the best. Amen. Amen. Let's remember this. We just got to change our words. Amen. Yes. There's nothing, no luck in serving Him, mm -hmm. but nothing but blessings. Amen. Praise mm -hmm. God. And number three says what? The blood of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank mm -hmm. you, Lord. The blood of Jesus. They know what the enemy don't want to hear. They don't want to hear none of these. That's it. <laughs> That's it. And um, number four is what? Mm -hmm. Prayer. Prayer. Prayer is powerful. Prayer changes things. Yes, it does. You got to remember this. You got to know this. And it happens. It works all the time, not yes, just sometimes. That's but it. we just need to know that it's His timing, mm -hmm. not our timing. Sometimes we just want to rush in and say, "Well, we need this now. You got to do this now." No, it's his time and he knows what's best yes. and what time is best for That's you it. and what time is best to answer this yeah. amen so we can't manipulate that we can't just say call him to right. working working right. for us you know <laughs> and the last one is this the name of jesus at the name of jesus every name every name is going to Bow. Bow. bow that's how powerful it yeah. is amen at the name of jesus and mm -hmm. satan don't like any of these that's but we it. need to get these now you have them mm -hmm. in your hands i gave you a handout mm -hmm. <laughs> study these scriptures look yeah. up these scriptures amen these are not all the scriptures yeah. these are some scriptures right but you go check them out and you know uh if you don't have nothing on your on your uh refrigerator <laughs> tape it on there or you can tape it on your mirror. You can tape it on something. You know that mirror that you're always looking into? Oh, yeah. <laughs> tape something else on there besides your face. <laughs> so you can look at it, and, and when you see it, say it. Confess it. Confess it. Confess yeah. it. Get it in you and speak it out. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. I guarantee yeah. you. Mm. Now, I know you didn't do this, but when I was in the world, <laughs> I would learn all the latest hits, all the latest songs come out. Oh, yeah. Man, I'll impress people, you know, just by singing them and learning mm -hmm. them and getting them in me. But I had to get them, I had to study them, I had to meditate on them mm -hmm. to get them in me. And mm -hmm. everywhere I went, man, I want to impress everybody. Mm -hmm. But you know, we don't do that with the Word of God. Mm -hmm. We try to hide ourselves. Yeah, yeah. We don't, mm -mm, we can't even hum it, you know. You say, oh, you one of them, huh? <laughs> oh, no, not, not me. <laughs> but we'll go backwards we'll go all the way for the world and yeah. when it's time to do something for for, for jesus uh -huh. to do something for god oh no mm -hmm. i ain't got time you know i mean i've got too busy uh -huh. come on now <laughs> i was so busy yesterday patricia got me to barbecue i said oh my god <laughs> i hope you enjoy the barbecue <laughs> anyway praise one of five most powerful weapons given to believers or you can say his children 
by God. Yeah. Amen. This is given to you. And you know what? He's given us the whole word, the whole Bible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But what are you going to do with it? Yeah. You have to do something yeah. with it. And not just sit there. Well, you know what? I, I bought me a Bible because people come visit me. And when they come visit me, I just put it on the coffee table so they can see that I have a Bible. But you know what? People come and go. Satan will come and run all over you. And the Bible's still sitting there. Ain't doing nothing. He ain't afraid of that. He's afraid of what comes out of there. Right. He's afraid of the spoken word. That rainbow word of God. Amen. Come on now. Praise God. Oh, slow down, Pastor. You're going too fast. <laughs> well, we won't keep you long. Praise helps to focus on God and realize our needs for Him. Thus turns the battle over to Him. When we do this, God will then bring victory. Yeah. Remember that song, Victory in Jesus? Mm -hmm. We can have that on a daily basis. Yes. It's all up to us. Amen. Say, so, wait a minute. <laughs> this devil, this defeated foe is bugging me again. Let me remind him. Yeah. I have victory in Jesus. Yes, you do. I have authority over him. Mm -hmm. He belongs under my feet. So get yes, under yeah. my feet and get away from me. And it says resist. I uh, submit to God, resist the devil. He will, he will flee. flee from me. I don't want you around. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do ministry for God. I'm going to be where God wants me to be. Yes. I'm going where God wants me to be. Remember, you're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever be around mm -hmm. or even see or hear. You Amen. So don't exclude yourself. God needs you. He needs his body to be busy. Not just sitting down being comfy. Man, oh, it's right. Oh, the Cowboys. I I shut it off last night when it was like 17 0. <laughs> so I don't know what the final score was, you know. So I say forget it. <laughs> Keep going, Kurt. Here's another good one for you. Praise. <laughs> this is what praise is. Mm -hmm. Write this down if you don't have it. Amen. It. Praise is power released as I submit every mm -hmm. day. There's power in praise. Remember, it's a weapon. A weapon is not weak. A weapon is strong. Amen. A weapon is powerful. It's power released. I'm going to release it, but you got to release it. You got to do something with it. Mm -hmm. You got to have it to release it. Yes. If you don't have it, you can't release it. Amen. Amen. But it's power released as to I submit every day. Every day. Commit yeah. yourself. Every day. Submit yourself. And serve Him each and every day. Woo, hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, it's too sunny out there. It's too windy out there. It's too rainy out there. Oh my God. What am I going to do? I can't go out. We don't spend time with Him. Amen. Woo, let that be a good 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 lesson for you praise is a great praise is a great weapon in a spiritual battle praise and worship is important because the bible commands it yeah. it's not just a suggestion <laughs> you want to have victory i mean do it amen mm -hmm. praise god Ooh, come on yeah. now. <laughs> even in the in the psalms the believers are repeatedly encouraged to praise and magnify their god amen and uh, i already Showed you that. Showing your appreciation and gratitude for what God has done. Amen. Worship is honoring God for what He is, for who He is. Amen. Praise God. Gratitude. What is gratitude? Gratitude is a feeling of thankfulness, mm -hmm. a, a appreciation as for gifts or favors, and a, a attitude in acknowledgement of a benefit that one has received. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Lord. God delights in our attitude of gratitude. Yes. We are created to praise Him. Amen. So let's not let's not forget this. Somebody, I have a few scriptures for you here, and you can write this down. If you don't get them now, go go in there and review them. Go go study them and meditate on them. Keep going. Okay, that's the one we read a few minutes ago. Put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaven is. Mm -hmm. Go to the next one. Okay. This one says, in Psalms 113 and 3 says, From the rising of the sun until the going down. Mm -hmm. Of the same, the name of the Lord is to be 
Praise. Praise. Amen. Listen, listen, let's go there. And you know, I hope you brought your highlighter because you can highlight this. Amen. <laughs> we, we need to highlight some of these things. Mm -hmm. And we need to underline it. We need to write some circles around it. We need to scratch where, where it says you and then put your name on there. Is it 113 and 3? 113 and 3. Let me read it to you from. Yes. I couldn't read that. Uh, I couldn't read that off the screen. Uh, that's right. This one says 113 and 3. He says, From the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. Amen. In the Amplified, it says, From the rising of the sun until the going down of it. Mm -hmm. And from east to west, the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Yes. Amen. We got to get in this attitude. Amen. We got to get in this attitude. We magnify it and we praise a whole bunch of worldly things mm. that we shouldn't. But we can't do that for God, you know. So we need to get in the right attitude yes. for this. Amen. Mm. And while you have your Bibles open, open your Bibles to John 4, 23 and 24. Mm -hmm. The book of John. We got a lot of scripture for you, so we're going to use our Bible. Amen. Oops. Are you there? No. I'm no. good, man. <laughs> John chapter 4, verse 23 and 24. I'm going to read it first from this translation, then I got another translation. Are you there? It says, But the hour cometh. And now is when the true worshipers, yes. the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Mm -hmm. For the Father seeks such to worship him. Amen. Amen. He's looking for your worship. He, he says, if you, if you don't worship me, I'll get these rocks to mm -hmm. worship me. I don't want no rocks doing that for me. That's it. Amen. Me <laughs> it's God. Amen. Verse 24 says, God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yes. And the uh, Amplified says, A time will come, however, indeed, it is really already here, when the true, genuine worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Mm -hmm. Reality. For the Father is seeking such people as these, as his worshipers. Yes. Amen. So don't exclude yourself. Include yes, yourself. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He didn't give you that beautiful voice. Where you just to sit there and do nothing with it. Amen. <laughs> Ooh, man, no, don't, right. don't talk about me like that. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Well, now turn to um, First Thessalonians. First Thessalonians. It's right before second. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Are you there? First Thessalonians uh, chapter 5 and verse 16 through 18. No, no, no. No, you guys, you guys go ahead. I'm uh, I'm in the right place. <laughs> I see something wrong here. I'm in Timothy now. <laughs> I need to follow my own uh, instructions here. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Okay, I think I've, I've got you now. <laughs> First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 through 18. Uh -huh. It says, Rejoice evermore. Amen. 17 says, Pray without, without ceasing. Mm -hmm. And 18 says, in everything give thanks mm -hmm. for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Amen. Amen. Woo, quench not the spirit. Yes. That's verse 19. <laughs> Amen. So still we must let me read it to you from the uh, New uh, Living Bible. Mm -hmm. or the Living Bible it says always be joyful. Mm -hmm. Always keep praying. Mm -hmm. No matter what happens Mm -hmm. Always be thankful, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Always, no matter what happens, mm -hmm. I know if I'm in Him, things are gonna 
turn out right. Yes. Amen. So let's re let's remember this. Isaiah 43 and 21 says this: This people have formed for myself; they shall declare my praise. I know I've got it on your card. Mm -hmm. Forty-three, twenty-one. Uh, yeah. Isaiah 43, 21. Go ahead and turn it, turn. Praise him, praise him. Uh, let all the people praise him. No, not, no, go ahead. Go. That's good, though. Keep going. Ooh, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> magnify the Lord. Can you see this? Mm -hmm. Magnify him. You know what we do a whole lot of? Mm -hmm. We magnify our problems. No, we, mag we magnify our circumstances. Mm -hmm. We magnify all those things happening mm -hmm. around us, okay. except we don't magnify Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. We got to turn that around, reverse that, and turn it, and flip mm -hmm. that, and magnify Him first. Amen. Amen. Instead of all this, yeah, I know what's going on. I, yeah, I know what's happening, but still, I want to magnify my God. Amen. I'm going to magnify Him. I'm going to get this right. Magnify the Lord, not just one time, all the time, all at right. all times. Keep going. Amen. These are all good. Amen. It says, I will praise the name of God with a song and will magnify him with thanksgiving. It's always magnifying him and you be grateful. Magnifying him with thanksgiving. Amen. We don't have to wait till uh, our holiday Thanksgiving just to magnify God. We can on a daily basis. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Being grateful, being thankful. Hallelujah. Forgive me a wake up call. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Psalm 69 and 30. Keep going. Oh, you just, just leave it right there. We'll get to that. <laughs> anyway, Isaiah 43 and 21 says in the New King James, My people I have formed for myself. Mm -hmm. They shall declare my praise. Yeah. God created us. Some mm -hmm. of us are his children because we've received them as Lord and Savior. Some have not yet received them. Amen. So we need to work on them. We need to get them. We need to get the good good word, the yes. gospel to them and share with them. Amen. So that we can bring them into God's kingdom. Amen. Yes. Come back to Father's house. Amen. Just like the prodigal son. He said, man, it's time for me to leave. Mm -hmm. And he left. Give me what's mine. He mm -hmm. took off. But you know, when he when the world just turned him upside down oh, and he yeah. was having bad, bad things happening to him, he said, you know, it's right time for me to go back to Father's house. Mm -hmm. I get treated better than this at Father's house. <laughs> and, you know, time will come when you're laying up or hurt or mm -hmm. whatever, wherever you happen to be, or wake up. I say, man, I, don't, I can't go with this. Mm -hmm. I got to go back to Father's house. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. The easy to read version, I'll give it to you. It says, I make them. And they will sing songs of praise to me. Mm. They get, can't get no plainer than that. That's it. I created them. I made them. Mm -hmm. And now I want them to sing to me. You know, we, we, we sing to our loved ones, our children. We sing to our spouses. <laughs> we sing to everyone. We sing to the world. We sing to drums. We sing to <laughs> drug addicts. We sing to anything and everything. But we come to church and we can't sing a praise to God. Mm. Amen. Come on now. Don't hide now. <laughs> we, we can come and sit in service mm -hmm. and be so um, dignified, <laughs> so nice, and leave these four walls and something else comes loose. <laughs> mm -hmm. We just can't be pretenders. We got to be imitators of our Heavenly Father. Amen. Wherever we happen to go. Yes. You know, people say, it, say, I know her. I know him. Man, they're strong in the word. They love their God. Mm -hmm. They show it. They live it. Amen. Yeah, they ain't got nothing but good things to say about you. Mm -hmm. They can't find nothing about you. <coughs> Amen. Well, they're going to try to find something. You know? Oh, yeah. you know, the people that come tell you about other people, <laughs> when they leave you, they're going to tell other people about you. About you. <laughs> 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 Some have never been told or read for themselves. Mm -hmm. So they spectate, they judge, mm -hmm. they sit mm -hmm. uncomfy. Yeah. 
Amen. You know, if you're not following the word, you're just going to spectate. You're just going to say, well, you know, hey, check out, see him. How's Pastor doing? Man, he's not doing so hot. You know. You know, I'm bringing a, a word he gave me for us. Amen. So I hope you receive it because if you're focusing on what God has to say, you're going to receive something. Yeah. I say, I'm not letting you go until you give me something. Mm -hmm. Well, he wants to give it to you, but he's knocking. Yeah. But we're not opening. Mm -hmm. And we're not receiving. He yeah. says, I stand at the door and knock. No. Mm -hmm. And I want to visit with you daily. Mm -hmm. I want to visit with you each and every day. Mm -hmm. But you're not available. Amen. We've talked about that so many times. We have to submit ourselves, commit ourselves, mm -hmm. and we have to make ourselves yeah. available to Him. Amen. And you know, here's here's what He's given us. He's given us a free will. Yeah. So if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. And He's not going to force His way in. That's right. You have to open up mm -hmm. and receive Him Amen. willfully. Amen. If not, He just... The problem is not there. The problem is, is here. Yeah, yeah. We have to fix this. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> they don't know. Listen, some people don't know this. And we're still learning. Mm -hmm. Some people don't know singing, shouting, dancing, clapping, lifting your hands and use of instruments. All this is scriptural. It's yeah. in the Bible. Yeah. You know, if you go to a place where they say, hey, we don't sing here. Or hey, you don't raise our arms here. Or we don't dance. No, no, no. That's not the devil. <laughs> <laughs> go somewhere else <laughs> go somewhere else I says well I read it in my Bible mm -hmm. uh, can you show me scripture no 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 we just don't accept that here <laughs> well thank you <laughs> I don't accept to be here either because <laughs> I'm going somewhere else mm -hmm. amen I'm going to go where I can be mm -hmm. where I can go and worship my God yes. praise my God yes. dance if I have to you know that's why I've told you many times is uh, you know we're having a great service but somebody's crying. Mm -hmm. We're having a great worship service, but somebody is raising their, lifting their hands. Mm -hmm. Somebody's dancing. Somebody's doing uh, on their knees. Somebody's on the floor. Mm -hmm. And it makes us different. He knows where you are, and he's going to touch you in that right. way. Yeah. And whatever you feel like, feel free to do what you want to yeah. do. And you have yeah. our, our freedom to do that. Yeah. You know, if somebody wants to restrict that, something's wrong. Mm -hmm. Amen. And at home, you shouldn't have any restrictions at all. <laughs> and just leave the TV off. <laughs> leave every, all other stuff. Leave the cell phone down. Leave, mm -hmm. leave the TV off. And spend time with Him. This is your time, Father. Seek you first the kingdom of God yes. and His righteousness. Amen. All these other things shall be added unto you. Amen. Some skip, some dissect mm -hmm. part of church service. Mm -hmm. Some just come to spectate. Yeah. <laughs> and watch. And you know what? You do it while you're spectating. The word just passed. Mm -hmm. And passed you. Mm -hmm. And you never received. I didn't receive anything. Mm -hmm. How many times you walked out of service and you said, mm -hmm. I didn't receive anything. Mm -hmm. When you're as cold as ice, you're as locked up as can be. You know, God can't get in, so how do you expect me to get in? <laughs> oh, Jesus. But we got to be open, prepare ourselves before yes. we even come here. Yeah. Say, you know, we're going to have a great service. I'm going to yeah. preach for a pastor. You know, I'm going to preach for whatever speaker is up there. Mm -hmm. The Lord's going to use them, and they're going to have they have a word for me, and I'm going to receive what God has for me, and I'm going to do what God's telling me to do. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. But you just come to spectate. Oh man, did you see what so and so was wearing? Did you see what so and so <laughs> this? What so and so that? Well, what did you come to do? But you didn't hear what God was saying. Yeah. You know, we, we have to be careful. We don't just come to be pretend. pretend. You know, we, we come to be for real and encourage one another. Yeah. We come to assemble ourselves together and hear what God has to say and encourage one another. Yeah. And we're all at different levels. So just be aware of that. You know, we're not at the same level. You know, we're not as... as uh, as uh, Bible knowledge as you you are, we're still learners, you know. And see yourself that way. You are learning on a daily basis, not yeah. losing. You're not. Uh, 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 what word do I need? Uh, don't see yourself as not being able to learn. 
But see yourself a learner. Don't see yourself a loser. Don't see see yourself the way God sees you. And he sees you able to learn, he sees you a winner, a champion. And that's the way he sees you. That's the way we need to see ourselves. Uh, praise God. Some of us choose different denominations. Uh, some place where it doesn't offend you. Some place where it doesn't challenge you. Somewhere where um, we just want to stay comfy. That's where we want to go. You know, sometimes we want to go to big places where nobody knows me and I can just go in there and be, you know, part of the service, just sit there and do nothing. Praise and worship is not just a warm up for the church service. <laughs> this is just the whole service. We invite the Lord to join us. He's here. He stays for the whole service time. Works daily too. Visit with him on a daily basis. Invite him to join you. Amen. You know what he does when you invite him in? You know what happens when you open the door? Mm -hmm. He'll come in and he says, I'll sup with you. Yeah. And you with me. Mm -hmm. Amen. So Revelation 3 and 20 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Mm -hmm. If any man, any person mm -hmm. hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him. And will sup with him and he with me. Amen. He has no favorites. You know what his favorite is? Whoever opens the door. That's it. Amen. That's who the favorite person is. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let's go to uh, Revelation 3 and 20. Yeah. Keep missing. Last book of the Bible. 3 and 20. It says, Behold, I, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. The Amplified says, Behold, I stand at the door not. If any one hears and listens mm -hmm. to and heeds my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and he will eat with him and he, I, excuse me, and he will eat with me. Yeah. Amen. So. Mm -hmm. That's his favorite one, right there. Mm -hmm. We opens the door. Yeah. So you're his favorite child, and you can start calling yourself that. Mm -hmm. I'm God's favorite child. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't have no favorites. Well, you know he's always promoting this person and that person, and he likes mm -hmm. this person better than mm -hmm. this person. Yeah. No. No. We just gotta commit ourselves to him. Yeah. And serve him on a daily basis. Yeah. Amen. And he loves you. Just the same. Yeah. Come on. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Revelations. It says, I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice, I will open. I will come in. I will share a meal together as friends. Mm -hmm. He comes daily. Service time all the time. He knocks. Yeah. He wants to visit. <laughs> we don't <laughs> do we open? Do we welcome him? Mm -hmm. Or do we reject him? Mm -hmm. You know, nowadays I guess you could say, you know, hey. He sent me a friend request. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I declined it. <laughs> well, we already know that. Mm -hmm. We can know by your words and your actions. Mm -hmm. But you have to open up yes. to him. If we open and we make ourselves available, he will come in. If we reject him, we can't complain about him never visiting with us. That's right. That's and that's what most of the time we find ourselves saying, well, you know, he never says anything to me. He never visits me. He never does this for me. He never, 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 never. Mm -hmm. Well, we got to get off of there. We can make a change. The problem's not there. The problem is here. Yeah. <laughs> so we need to fix here. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. So Amen. Listen, let's remember that. You only come in when we open the door and invite him in. Mm -hmm. His door is always <coughs> open. Yes, again, the prodigal son. And again, Jesus at the cross. Mm -hmm. He had an opportunity to say, Father, I did all I could for these people. And they rejected me. They, they put stripes on my back. Mm -hmm. I Just take me out of here. Mm -hmm. Forget him. You know, do what you want with him. No, that's not what he said. Mm -hmm. He says, forgive him. Mm -hmm. And before I do anything else, I want your Father to forgive me. Mm. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. I mean, we can be grateful just for that. Yeah. He, he paid a price he didn't owe. Mm -hmm. 
and we owe a price we cannot pay. Mm -hmm. So we need to submit ourselves and serve him the best we can. Yeah. Amen. Ooh, come on. Come on, Pastor. Oh, good preaching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hebrews 4 and, th and 16 says in the King James, Let us therefore come boldly into the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy yes. and find grace to help in time um, of need. Yeah. How many times have you heard that? Uh, mm -hmm. Don't bother God, you know. Mm -hmm. No, he says, come boldly. Boldly. Boldly to the throne of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. We have an open door. We should be open for him to come through. Both ways. I want to have a few more scriptures for you. <laughs> Actually, this should be a part two here. But uh, open your book of Psalms to 100. Psalms 100. We can read the whole thing, but there's a couple of scriptures I want, to, I want you to, to see. Psalms 100. It's a great song. Yes, I love yes. it. I love it all. <laughs> Amen. Amen. He says, it's a song of thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with See. singing. Mm -hmm. Amen. We open up with singing. Amen. Every service. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Into his gates with thanksgiving mm -hmm. and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name for the Lord is good. good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Let me uh, read it to you from the Amplified. It says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye lay and serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, come before his presence with singing. Know, perceive, Recognize and understand with all appro approval mm -hmm. that He is Lord, is that, that the Lord is God. Mm -hmm. It is He who has made us, and not we ourselves. And and we are His, and we are His people, and the sheep of His pasture. Mm -hmm. it says, enter His gates with thanksgiving and in, uh, and a thankful offering, for unto His courts with praise. Be thankful and say to Him, bless and affectionately praise. His name. Mm. For the Lord is good, His mercy and loving kindness and everlasting. His faithfulness and truth endureth to all generations. Amen. Look at look at uh, verse 2. Verse 2 says, Serve the Lord with gladness, mm -hmm. come before His presence with singing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Serve the Lord with gladness. Remember, Jesus came to serve, not to mm -hmm. be served. He's our greatest example. Yes, he is. Verse 4 says this, Enter his gates with thanksgiving, yeah. and enter his courts with praise, praise, and be thankful unto him, and bless his name. Yeah. Amen. Ooh, man. Yeah. Hallelujah. We can say amen, well, and let's go fellowship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> praise God. Thank Yield and ready to receive from him. He has set a table before us. We need to yes. partake of it. Yeah. And not spectate from it. That's Amen. Right, Be right. participators, not spectators. Yeah. Amen. You, you're going to receive if you're open, you, you, if you participate. Mm -hmm. Amen. But if you're only spectating, you ain't going to catch anything. Mm -hmm. And you're only going to be negative and catch all the negative oh, stuff. So, man, I saw all the negative things mm -hmm. Pastor did. <laughs> well, didn't you hear one good thing Pastor said? You know, didn't you hear one good thing God spoke through me? Yes. I'm, I'm bringing the message. Mm -hmm. But all you saw was the negative things. Mm -hmm. You know, you know that outfit he had? It didn't match at all. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that hair was bad. You know? Them glasses, you got to change his glasses. <laughs> but the word flew by you, and you never caught anything. Mm -hmm. A lot of people do this. Mm -hmm. And we need to stop this. <laughs> Psalms 34 and 1 says, I will bless the Lord at Sometimes. All times. All the all times. Mm -hmm. right, you can write this down if you don't have it. Psalms uh, 64, uh, six, excuse me, 34 and 1. I will bless the Lord at all times. Mm -hmm. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. Amen. So listen, when you, when you come from now on, bring your highlighter. Yeah. <laughs> or bring your Bible and then bring a highlighter. Amen. Let's go there. So I like I love that one. Uh -huh. Psalms 34. Psalms 34. I don't know what translation you use, but it's good to look it up in different translations. Yes. Psalms 34 yeah. and 1. Uh -huh. Amen. A psalm of praise and trust. 
says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continue to be in my mouth. <laughs> I can tell you what used to be in my mouth all the time. Mm -hmm. Negative things. Bad words. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I know you're so holy, you don't never say that. <laughs> <laughs> but when I got born again, it changed. Mm -hmm. So now I stop and put a guard mm -hmm. before I speak any negative or any curse words or anything that is not going to yeah. bless. That's it. Amen. I just am careful. I really not say anything that hurt somebody. But if I'm going to say something, I'm going to say, no, God loves you. God bless you. Say kind, something kind instead of something negative. Amen. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. The Amplified is the same. Say, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. That's the uh, Amplified. And we're getting ready to close here. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Psalm 63 and 1, we uh, the, we talked about the garment of praise. Put on the garment of praise. Psalm 63 and 3, just a few uh, verses down, says, Because your loving kindness is better than life, oh. my lips shall praise you. Yes. My yes. lips shall praise you. I used to, my lips always curse you. Mm. Now I'm going to praise you. Amen. Mm. And remember, you're a new creature in Christ. Yes, you regardless are. of what the world says, regardless of what old friends say. Mm. Every time mm. I see some, some old friends, they, they say, oh man, you're the same person. Mm. No, mm. I don't think so. They only see in the physical me. They don't see the spiritual side of me. I had a spiritual birth. I am reborn. Amen. <laughs> uh, so, uh, the next verse to it, uh, Psalm 63 and 4 says, Thus I will bless you while I live. Mm -hmm. I will lift up my hands in your name. Yes. Amen. While I'm living. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Praise him while you're living, not while yes. you're dead. You can't do it then. That's it. Yes. Amen. Because uh, hopefully you're going to the right place. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully you're going up and not down. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, um, you see, praise is a weapon against Satan. Your only enemy. Psalms eight and two says this: From the mouth of children and babes come songs of praise to you. They sing of your power to silence your enemies. Yes. Hmm. Wow. Listen to this: The Battle of Jericho. And we'll close with this. For six days they march around the city. One time, no words. Mm. They said they spoke no words. On the seventh day, the assembly marched around the wall of Jericho seven times. Joshua told them that by, by God's orders, every living thing in the city must be destroyed except Rahab and her family. Yes. Remember Rahab? Yeah. <laughs> She was living in the city. Mm -hmm. A prostitute. Mm -hmm. But still, when the man of God came there, she hit him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And they, she was rewarded. She knew what she was doing. But still, she wanted salvation for her family. Yes, she did. And she yeah. got she got <coughs> to destroy everything in the city except mm -hmm. yes. Rahab and her family. Mm -hmm. So you know, you stand for your family, amen. Amen. All articles of silver, gold, bronze, and iron were to go into the Lord's treasure. Praise is a weapon. Seven times, on the seventh time, something in the atmosphere began to change. Something began to shake. It was never about the war or the walls. It was about a promise God said that he will deliver them. Amen. And when they praised he inhibited their praise. They became a habitation. They became God's manifestation yes. for the heavenly realms to the earthly realms. Mm -hmm. They turned their praise to God towards the wall, launched a praise missile. Yeah. That's what you got to do with your walls. You got a wall. You got you got to launch some of these praise missiles at your walls, <laughs> and then walls are going to come down. Amen. Yes. <laughs> then walls are going to come down, and boom. 
<laughs> the habitation became a manifestation. Uh -huh. Amen. That habitation became a manifestation. Mm -hmm. The praise of the praise is a weapon. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you launch those missiles, those yeah. praise missiles, and whatever problems you're facing. Yeah. Amen. He says the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes, yes. You launch it. And you you see those walls come down. Amen. Amen. Greater is he to send you than he to send the world. Mm -hmm. You get the word of God in you and you start speaking that word. Amen. Yes. Did you get anything? Amen. Yes. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord, for your, your time. Thank you for your word. Father, thank you that we can uh, uh, hear it. And put it yes. to work, Father God. And we just thank you for it, Father God. Thank you. Bless those, Father God, that are listening right now. And we won't close until we get the opportunity. If you never accepted Christ in your life, now's the time. Yes. All you have to do is say, now's my time, Lord. I've sinned against you. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. And he's not going to reject you. He's going to Amen. receive you. He's going to accept you. Amen. Yes. And you start living for him. And you start yes. getting in the word. Amen. And praising him, you know, instead yes. of praising what you used to praise. Now yeah. praise him. So praise God. And we, we talked about this last week. We talked about uh, uh, growing and going for Jesus. Amen. That's what you're going to do for him. Amen. So yes. praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And the time to give. Uh, there's way, different ways to give. One is you can go to our website or you can mail it or you can do a cash app. Amen. Praise God. So if you're watching, you can still go You will go to our website. It should be on the screen there for you. NBCBigBen.com. Hit the donate button if you're mailing it. NBC PO Box 252 Marfa, Texas 79843. Amen. And Use the cash, yeah. Amen. Yeah. And uh, I didn't forget those who are watching that need a touch of healing. Just remember yes. that by Jesus Christ to heal yes. from the front of your head to the soles of your feet. Amen. Any malfunctions in your body, we call it heal now. Yes. In the name of Jesus, Spirit of infirmity, we take authority over you. We yes. cast you out in Jesus' name. Yes. Father, we just thank you within the sound of my voice, those that are watching right now, that by Jesus Christ, they are healed, Father heal. God. Yes. We receive that healing in our bodies right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise yes. God. Amen. 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 Remember, God loves you and we love you. Amen. And keep praising him. Hallelujah. Praise God.